Lidtosis, your worst nightmare with upper face toxin. The product inadvertently will reach the tarsal muscle or levator of papillary superioris. So those are both elevators of the lid. One of the things that's kind of come to prominence recently is treating the pretarsal portion of orbicularis oculi in order to elevate the lid. So how we do that when you when you look at the paper, they talk about two injections right above the lash line, two injections laterally, and then one medial. So we've got the lateral limbus, medial limbus of the pupil. You want to keep your injection points at lateral and medial to those respectively. So the injection points are very superficial to make sure we're hitting orbicularis oculi and not tarsal muscle or elevator palpebrae superioris deep to those. So very superficially keep lateral to the lateral limbus and medial to the medial limbus. Just to be clear, two there, one in the midline and it's one unit for each injection. So right just above the lash line, well done Leanne. Very superficially and you'll see a little bleb form like this. You know, you're going to have a degree of resolution of ptosis in combination with drops, so either oxymetazoline, which is what's available in the States and what this paper that we're talking about um, is based on, or you can use 0.5% apiclonidine, which is what we have more access readily to.